Well, hello and welcome to the status chat for Friday, June 12th, 2020. If you have real property to sell in the greater Murfreesboro, Rutherford County area, then call Dale to sell at Benchmark Realty 615 409 Sold. That's 7653 or 615 809 2323. Okay. Now that we've got the unpleasantries out of the way, let's look at some information. Now we saw last week we saw a decline of inventory and an increase in ratio of under contracts to availables. Now let's continue along that same theme and look at what we had last week. We had 8522 active in the system at the time I checked and 4539 under contract for a ratio of 53% under contract. Let's flip over my Palm Pilot. Okay, well, it's not Palm Pilot, but I go back even further than the Blackberry does. 82 this week, 82.55 available in the MLS, 47.45 under contract for a ratio of 57.5%. So, what little inventory that's being put on the market is moving, it's selling. And we we're getting some ratios. We're getting some good ratios out of this. Uh, 57.5, that's pretty, that's, that, I think that's encouraging. Now, one of the things that's holding this up is the fact that what we actually have in, in this situation is different from 28, 2010 kind of crashes. That, in that case, it was the housing market that crashed. In this particular case, it's somebody take, artificially taking the economy down and we have extremely low rates, some of the lowest in history, certainly within my, my time, my career, my personal knowledge, they're about as low as they're going to get. You do have to have good credit, but there are still a lot of people that have good credit and are making use of it. They're buying homes. So I have a graph I want to put up for you right now. Let's take a look at this one. Now looking at the chart, you see I've, I've moved the, the data points back to May of 2019 from the May of 2020, which would be a span of a year, so we can compare median uh, prices. Now if we look at the single family home, which is tr that term kind of respects, relates to the traditional standalone one family, one home, middle of a, of a, of a lot, versus the townhouse and condominium modular manufactured and when we take all of those together with the single family we make it all property types now this is not even all the residentials because we take out the we exclude more than four residentials we exclude the the commercial properties the uh, apartment buildings that sort of thing so this is from from a single residence to a quadplex all together is that kind of burgundy dark red line and of course it pretty well much tracks the single family home because in this area most homes that are sold are single family and so they're going to track right along there very close to it so we see from this graph that the market is still strong and that's despite the crazy covid and the intended disruptions in the economics of this country and everything because people have to have a place to live now not every place in the country is enjoying this degree of a steady rise. Some places you would expect would have some bumpiness. And this is all of the Middle Tennessee MLS that I'm looking at this data. Some people are having troubles getting loans. They are the people who are more economically challenged, have had a disruption, a divorce, a bankruptcy, a modification, their loan modification. All these things are going to affect your credit and the credit as the credit goes down it's harder to get a loan because in these trying times with such low mortgage rates, the loans they are issuing are requiring very good credit, which is not a problem for a lot of folks. So you still have, at this ratio, this 50, what is that, 57.5% under contract rates, houses are still selling. So if you want to put your house on the market, you want to sell your house, you, let's, let's get together and we'll get that home sold. 